with large businesses, 45% of their growth, basically half their growth comes from merger and acquisition activity. So that means they're going out and taking over assets that other people have built. And that's half their growth. Now, they're going to do some yeah. organic things, but a lot of the growth is coming from that M&A activity. And I realized, you know, when I talk to small businesses, part of it was just a, a mindset of, oh, well, I'm going to do M&A activity once I'm a large business. And they realize, I like, know the reason those businesses become large businesses is because at the very beginning, there's a strategy and there's a mindset that's built around how do I execute this M&A strategy in addition to running my business. And so I think a lot of it is just getting over this mental hurdle of, okay, that's something complicated that's for other people, as opposed to it's really just a normal way of doing business. You got to ask yourself, you know, if I have to build this department or if I want to go and hire a person or I need this talent, I can go and find it and, and build it from scratch or train the people from scratch. But the reality is there's somebody out there that probably wants to sell their business that's already got the talent that you need that you can access by buying that business or they've got the department that you're trying to build out that is going to be profitable and you can add to that business. And this is what speeds up growth. I think most people, by trying to build everything from scratch, the, the bottom line, whether you're going to be successful or not, is it's going to take a lot, lot longer to reach your goals. That's, that's a great point. I remember one of my mastermind members one time saying, like, Lamar, what's the quickest way to a million dollar mm. business? And I said, well, the quickest way would be just buy a million dollar uh, business, million right? Dollar business. But again, it's a mindset shift. And how you talked about, like, the fear, and I think you said, like, a mindset hurdle. Yeah. I remember we had a question this week where one of our members and clients was talking about, well, what if, you know, I buy a business and all the people leave? And, and I love what you said. Besides, you said, hey, that normally just doesn't happen. Yeah. You talked about entrepreneurs being more afraid of that than what they're actually doing in yeah. their own. Can you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. It's so interesting because I have this conversation with entrepreneurs all the time. And, you know, there's some aspect where they feel like, oh, no, this buying and selling thing is more risky or more complicated than me trying to build a business from scratch. And I liken it too, because I'll get that question. It's like, what if I buy the business and, you know, a key employee ends up quitting? Like you said, statistically, I've been involved in 200 transactions. And if anything, there may be months ahead of time where they may say, hey, I'm going to quit. Like People just are doing normal jobs and they're not coming at it from the perspective of, oh, like there's this new owner. It's like, am I going to get paid the same amount? Am I doing exactly. the same job? OK, I'm great. And they but, might be in a better situation because yeah, said they were happy with the previous. Exactly. Owner. A lot of times they're excited. What I've seen most of the time is they're excited. There's new energy. There's a new vibe. There's somebody coming in, maybe willing to test things. I ideas, all that. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Traffic Sales and Profit Show. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe and follow us on this platform right now to make sure you do not miss a beat as we drop new episodes and additional content every single week. Also, if you'd like to get access to a free paperback copy of my book, access to the TSP Traffic Sales and Profit free Facebook group, our challenges, resources, our events, and more. Make sure you visit us at www.trafficsalesandprofit.com forward slash podcast.